I guess you get a lot of questions um, when people are looking at your on-pipe heating cables. How do you measure? Um, so if you're dealing with a small pipe, how do you know what length you need? Well, there's a lot. There's 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 different ways to do it. Um, if we're protecting um, branch piping, or uh, say you're Sometimes people will have a cabin and they want to protect the pipes under that cabin in free air or where it can be cold in the, in the winter. Um, the nice thing about Paladin is that you don't picture spiral. Like we always picture heat tapes as spiraled around pipes. Mm -hmm. Because of this technology, we don't have to do that anymore. So because we can insulate, we don't have to use as much energy anymore. So we typically just run along a pipe okay. and then a pipe will, it's called a riser or a main riser and you'll have a length of pipe, it might be 20 feet long. Say this is your cold water pipe and from that you'll have a branch that'll take you to a sink, perhaps in your kitchen, to a sink in a bathroom and to a water closet. Yeah, so would you need a separate system for all of those branches? No. What you do is you take the paladin and you run it along the pipe and then you take it up the branch, you go back down the branch and you carry on. We can't over apply the energy. That's the nice thing. The other thing that's great about that is we don't have splices. Splices in cables are failure points and you don't want to splice if you don't have to splice. So we can go down and we can, we can um, uh, apply the cable onto the cold water pipe and if the cold and hot are running close beside each other, you can run down the cold and then you can jump across and come back on the warm water pipe to protect them both. If you go by a drain trap, um, you can often pick up the drain trap and just put a crisscross or what we call a bow tie on the drain trap to protect that part of the drain from freezing that where we have a little bit of water left in all of our drains. Uh, so we can, we can do that as well. Wow, that's very interesting and you never have to worry about it overheating even if you have like a small half inch PEX line. Or no, poly. it's ideal for PEX and um, you, you never have to worry about it overheating. We've been almost 27 years now, we've never overheated or melted a pipe and I can assure you that will not occur. Very good. So, so what about larger pipe sizes? Um, I hear that this external heating cable works very well with sewage pipes. Yes. So how would you recommend to install it on those pipes? Normally on a, uh, a pipe up to two inches you need a single pass. Okay. Now um, if we are in a larger pipe like a drain, like often uh, drains freeze the three or four inch pipe that's going to your septic tank or, or your sewer, uh, they can freeze. When we get over the two inch it's often recommended that you do two passes. So if you picture a pipe like a cross section like a clock Mm -hmm. You would run one cable down at the four o'clock position just under the halfway mark and you'd turn and you'd come back on the eight o'clock position and then you insulate over top of them. So you may have 20 feet of pipe and but you'll require 40 feet of heater or right. cable. Okay, so instead of purchasing two 20 foot systems, Correct. you can purchase the one 40 yes. foot. And they're direct earth burial, wet location approved. So if even though they're external, uh, you can you can backfill them mm -hmm. so that you can put the you know if the if the pipe is in a trench you open it up you put the cable on it and then you backfill with sand and you insulate there are various insulation methods. So I guess it would work um, really good for water supply pipes coming from a well as long as the pipe's exposed you can put it on the pipe too. As area. opposed to in it, absolutely yeah. yes. The the time that we, when we jump from one product to another, Retroline, if you called the company and you said, uh, you know, you've already got a pipe in the ground, you don't want to excavate it, you don't want to tear your garden up or your, you know, you, you know your landscape, we would say Retroline's the product for you. And up to 150 feet, it's a 15 minute job. You just push the cable inside. If your pipe is open or if it's a new application and you're going to a well, there's absolutely nothing wrong with going to a lower cost external cable and putting it on the pipe and then backfilling it. So it just depends on the application. The product selection is, is critical mm -hmm. and, uh, and, it, and it's, its value comes in whether or not you want to excavate. If you're already in the ground and you don't want to spend the money and tear up your yard, you use Retroline. Yes, it costs more, but it saves you in the end. Yeah, so if Retroline costs more and the external Paladin is much less, is it less reliable? Not at all. The systems are identical in every way. 
as far as the core technology. The only major difference is that the external ones are not pressure rated, and they, and nor do they have to be, uh, and, and it's a different cable jacket that makes the cable, the jacket on the cable, believe it or not, makes it a lot less expensive. The cables that go on pipes are flame retarded. They have to be to meet CSA, UL, and all of those certifications. Cables that go in your water pipe are not flame retarded because they would be then uh, toxic. Yeah, non potable. Exactly. So, so there's a huge difference in those two cables on the okay. outside, but internally in the way they operate, they're identical. Okay. So what about lake applications? If somebody wanted to put an external heating cable into a lake, do you recommend that? Never. Um, the problem with that is that the the cable is subject to mechanical injury where it enters the water. Okay. And, um, and we also have heat loss, great heat loss from the outside when we externally trace in the water. Um, mechanical injury will lead to failure. Right, so it, and that's usually caused by rubbing against the rocks or the shoreline yes. or maybe even critters like animals sure. can get at it. Yeah, sure. And, and, and then it can be a hazard, an electrical hazard right. too. Uh, the in-pipe system, uh, the cable's in a pipe, just like it's in a conduit. The pipe itself is protecting the cable. It's really important. So any lake applications are always internal. Now, retroliner, heat liner, are internal systems, and they're huge selling products here. But we also have now Carapace, which is a high-density poly pipe. Uh, it's a very, very strong, tough pipe. It's municipal grade. And a lot of the trades and people now are using carapace because it's so tough and you can run it right into the lake. Right, the so cable is extruded onto the, the outside. outside of the pipe. So even though it's an external heating cable, it's protected so it is safe for that product to run into lakes. The reason we call it carapace, strangely, mm -hmm. is that it, it, we extrude a shell okay. of high-density polyethylene over the entire system to protect it. Okay. Turtles and shellfish are carapace. Ah. So that's how the name was derived. Neat. Strange, huh? But <laughs> anyway. All right, so going back to the external heating cables, um, with the Paladin and the EXT series, they are referred to as external, but you can also put them inside drain pipes, right? That's correct. So um, we, we rate them or call them external cables, um, but they also are used commonly in drains, culverts. Um, various applications like that. So if somebody's got a drainage tile that's going from, they're also roof and gutter approved. So if you've got a drainage tile running from a downspout okay. going out to a ditch or a French drain or something like that, you can run these cables right inside, right inside. them to stop them from freezing. A lot of times it's in the shoulder seasons when we're moving from winter to spring, mm -hmm. we'll get cold nights. The days make the water flow and the ice melts and everything's got to drain away. The nights get cold, the drain freezes, and then we start to have problems. With using EXT series or Paladin, we keep those drains free. There's a melt water path all the time, and gravity will take that water away every time, as long as we keep that freeze protection away. Well, it sounds like uh, the Paladin EXT is a pretty diverse product doing a is. whole bunch of applications. So if anybody has any questions, I guess they just contact you and uh, kind of go over their application and you'll walk them through it? That's what we do. Sounds good. Yep. Thank you very much for your time. Yep.